With the world becoming increasingly more complex, humans are trying to find newer avenues to older conventional methods. And thanks to our species being driven by knowledge, technology is at the forefront of our development as a species. And whilst it seems like the world is becoming a better place through most of these developments, not all of them are in a non-destructive manner. With the never-ending need for humans to find newer ways to kill one another being persistent throughout history, we have developed some really phenomenal weapons. And some of them remind us that the Terminator's fear of Skynet is not entirely unfounded. Of the most high-tech ways to dispose of fellow human beings are aerial weapons such as planes and missiles. That is what defined victory in the modern era. Among these, what is really fascinating is drone technology. And just as with any other avenue, advancements in drone technology are simply not pacing down. Recently, the United States has been actively working with a drone that could very well be the world's largest unmanned aerial vehicle. And the price tag is not too humble. It is thought that a single unit costs around $200 million. The drone is the Northrop Grumman RQ-4 Global Hawk. Although the drone was originally tested during the 1990s and saw its first flight in 1998, it is still undergoing constant upgradation. And for that exact purpose, the unmanned platform has repeatedly been tested during its lifetime. And with every upgrade came hefty cost increases. It started off at around $10 million when it was first tested and production began. However, this had sharply increased to over $60 million just by 2001. Subsequently, upgradation coupled with inflation and increased demand between the services and NATO forces brought the price up to more than double that amount at $131 million by 2013. Today, it is estimated that the price for this magnificent flying machine is somewhere north of $200 million, while certain estimators say it is over $220 million. The Northrop Grumman RQ-4 Global Hawk was designed primarily for advanced surveillance as a prototype under the Advanced Concept Technology Demonstration Program. Given the successful demonstration, the prototype was quickly developed to make a fully functional and capable combat surveillance vehicle. At that time, tensions in the Middle East made sure that this UAV was quickly developed and brought into service. But since the development was a bit hastily done, there was room for a lot of upgrades that luckily the base model was highly compatible with. The massive aircraft has a length of about 44 feet or 13 meters. The aircraft's wingspan is about 118 feet or 35 meters. It also has a massive payload of around 2,000 pounds or 910 kilograms, making it the largest unmanned aerial vehicle in the world. It does not actively engage in carrying out attacks, Rather, the payload is primarily a synthetic aperture radar system that is capable of creating two- and three-dimensional images of the ground and terrain to actively assist ground forces, as well as attack aircraft with navigation, tactical movement and attack vectors. The drone is also laced with a number of complex and advanced sensors to help it operate in all kinds of climates and weather conditions, as well as making it capable of service around the clock, day or night, thanks to an array of electro-optical and infrared sensors. Not only is the system advancing on its own, but a reason for the Global Hawk being so expensive is also the elements brought to the system after development from other platforms. For example, during the Obama administration, approval was made to merge the U-2's Senior Year Electro-Optical Reconnaissance System and Optical Bar Camera onto the Global Hawk through a universal payload adapter. This helped the newer system pick up the game through indoctrinating previously created superior systems. Whilst this might have helped the price spike up a bit, designing a customized system of the same nature for the RQ-4 would have been a more costly endeavor for the government to partake in. One thing that makes RQ-4 particularly superior is the exclusivity of its access by other forces. Whilst the aircraft is in service with both the United States Air Force as well as the United States Navy, it also serves with NASA and NATO. However, no other air force around the globe possesses the Northrop Grumman RQ-4 Global Hawk. This is due to the classified nature of its technological blueprints as well as the high cost of maintenance. The Global Hawk was briefly pursued by the German Air Force or Luftwaffe back in 2010. Despite purchasing one and being delivered to Germany, certain complications with the flight control system made it incompatible with European standards. The Luftwaffe needed access to technical information regarding the aircraft's composition which Northrop Grumman duly denied. This leads to the inoperability of the aircraft and subsequently to Germany abandoning the program altogether. 
With so much under its belt, the RQ-4 Global Hawk can survey over 40,000 square miles of terrain in a single day. It has the capability and endurance to fly for longer hours than conventional aircraft and can fly in sorties of over 30 hours. While this might bring maintenance costs exponentially up, the high altitude nature of its flights ensures less drag and degradation of the aircraft. The aircraft is mainly powered by a single Rolls-Royce F-137RR100 turbofan jet engine that affords it over 7,500 pounds of thrust. It can reach speeds of over 390 miles per hour and can reach altitudes as high as 60,000 feet. This also makes sure that it is capable of evading most conventional air defense systems deployed around the world, particularly in developing countries. Furthermore, it also has threat detection systems, including AVR-3 laser warning receiver and advanced countermeasures like the ALE-50 towed decoy system to deal with any possible threats. Despite being such an advanced aerial platform with some of the world's most complex stealth and threat detection systems, the RQ-4 Global Hawk recently made news in 2019 when Iran shot one down. This was done whilst the bird was flying over the Strait of Hormuz for a surveillance mission. The Iranian Revolutionary Guard Corps claimed responsibility and alleged that the aircraft was flying unauthorized over Iranian territory. This raised speculation over the acclaimed capabilities of the RQ-4, which was flying over 55,000 feet high. It also raised questions about how the United States had underestimated other countries' capabilities to take down aircraft flying at such high altitudes. Whilst President Trump threatened Iran on having made a big mistake, all decisions to take military action against Iran were aborted. The public speculation did lead to questions about the actual worth of the then $173 million aircraft. The government was keen on defending the continued use of the RQ-4 Global Hawk for surveillance missions. The government repeatedly claimed that Iran's shooting down of the UAV really meant nothing serious and reiterated the unparalleled capabilities of the Global Hawk. The aircraft was defended notoriously by the government, with officials justifying its high operational costs. Statements included discrediting the U-2 and explaining how the Global Hawk could carry out tasks done by the U-2 and more whilst bringing the U-2 up to be compatible with systems employed by the Global Hawk would inevitably become a much costlier endeavor. Subsequently, the government did seemingly bring about certain upgrades to the unmanned platform. Recently, a newer and more advanced defense system was designed to be operated on the Global Hawk system. This advanced system is what the Missile Defense Agency describes as the Airborne Laser 2.0. This laser is reportedly designed to shoot high-intensity and focused electromagnetic waves towards an incoming ballistic missile that might be a threat to the aircraft. This new laser defense system is aimed at being semi-autonomous, which would ensure a quicker reaction time to threats that the drone's ground operator might not be entirely efficient at. This shall give the aircraft the capability to detect and counter threats automatically using some degree of artificial intelligence. Whatever way you look at it, the Northrop Grumman RQ-4 Global Hawk is a legendary surveillance UAV. The number of developments and upgrades made to the aircraft make the price quite believable. I hope you liked the video. Leave a thumbs up and comment. And for new updates on the Global Hawk, hit the bell icon and subscribe to our channel. Until next time.